feel like this should be good. Made it back from walking the dogs. Now we're just gonna kind of tell a bit of how we met, how we fell in love, all that good stuff. All the fun things. <laughs> we get this question asked a lot, actually. We do. Almost yeah. every new person we meet. Like, how did y'all meet? Yeah, it's fun to tell. It is. Well, we went to high school together back in Tennessee, which we've mentioned. And we knew of each other, but we weren't really in the same friend groups. We had mutual friends, but never were friends. But we never were friends, yeah. I don't know, you were popular and you were like really good at basketball and I had a crush on Kate, kind of. <laughs> I would go out of my way every now and then to just kind of like pass by her, just kind of, not in a creepy way, but just like, I don't know, I thought you were cute. Open on notice. Yeah, she never did. <laughs> I had softball practice on one side of school, and I was supposed to, like, on the days that I would have softball practice, instead of walking towards where my practice was, I would go to my car, car, just to, because that was the way that she would go to basketball. She would do walk, see if she would walk past me. Well, I did I was out there. I was out there a few times, I bet. Yeah, we were out there every time. Oh, really? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. And then I would just, you know, pretend to get shit out of my car and then go to practice after that and be like, yes, I got a club summer. Really? But I was a great oh. ahead of Caitlin. Cougar. Which I feel like we also need to clarify, but we're the same age, so it's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> she's a cougar. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> she's way older than me. No, I'm not. I'm not way older. What is it, like seven months? Something like that. Anyway, long story short, I would go out of my way to get a glimpse of Kate every now But and never say anything? No! Never said one thing to me, so well, I had no of us idea. Were out. Neither of us were out. True. That's so it was crucial very part difficult. Of I, yeah, that is crucial, crucial part of the story. Part. Crucial part is we were in a very small town, and it was like, maybe like three gay people. <laughs> a bunch of yeehaw redneck bunch of yeehaw conservatives. Yee. Don't be gay. Don't believe in marriage equality yeah <laughs> and so it was very like on the low quiet actually very anxiety inducing situation <laughs> fast forward so, yeah. about a year i guess or something. yeah at this point kelsey graduated high school was in college it was my senior year towards the end of the senior year i was starting to realize you yeah, know i'm probably lesbian um and long story short, my sister accidentally outed me. We love you, sister. She didn't mean to. It was her just big mouth. She didn't even mean to. Somebody was saying gay people are cool. She's like, yeah, Caleb's so cool. And then, so it spread through the whole school. Kelsey found out from one of her friends at school and then decided to hit me up, Snapchat me. I didn't have your number. This booty call over here. I didn't have her number. <laughs> what did I say when I Snapchat you? I said, please tell me what I just heard was true. Yeah. Or something like yeah. that. But yeah, so and then she snapchatted me and we just talked ever since that night. We texting every night. Eventually the mutual friends that we had put together a little bonfire. Little did me know. It was not the whole reason for the bonfire, but they concocted this plan to where my friend at school came up to me and was like, hey, you should come to this bonfire with us that we're having. Like, I'll pick you up on this day, this time. Like, will you, you wanna come? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll come. Little did I know they had told the same thing to Kelsey, so their plan was swing by, pick up me, swing by, pick up Kelsey, so that we're together the yeah. whole night. Cause they wanted us to hit it off. Cause they knew that we were like texting. I was also a little part of that plan. Oh really? <laughs> because we've been texting for what, maybe two weeks or something? Yeah, a week, two weeks, yeah. something like that. Just bonding over things and getting to know each other. It wasn't really like, like, yeah, we were. Was it? Wasn't we? Yes, it was. It was very. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so that night came around. We sat by the bonfire all night. She kind of just talked, people watched. We were like laughing at silly things, like little drunk teenagers were doing. <laughs> I told her the story about cotton candy grapes. She did not believe me that cotton candy flavored grapes were a thing. And I was like, I swear, I got them at this Kroger that was like pretty close to where we were at the bonfire. So at um, this point, it's like ten. Yeah, it's late, and so when our friends leave, they I tell them like me and Kelsey were like, I was like, hey, you just like just 
don't get dropped off at your house. Just come with me and I'll take you and we'll go back, go shopping and see if I can find the cotton candy grapes. Could not find them. They weren't anywhere, so it made me look like a big liar. I was like, I swear I got them at this store. They're just not here right now. So instead, we got sushi, went to this park that was nearby in the middle of the night, like 12 in the yeah. morning, something crazy. It was, yeah. And just goofed around at the park, ate our sushi <laughs> on one of the little play sets, and just talked and chatted. Came over, watched a movie. We, like, were we so stayed up we were so all giddy. night. When they talk about like the 24 hour first date, it's for real. It's because <laughs> we were up until about 4 a.m. <laughs> we weren't doing anything nasty minds. We just no. watched a TV or a movie. Um, I can't remember the name of the movie, but it was a lesbian movie, but it was sad. So sad. But yeah, we just did not leave each other's side ever since that bonfire, so. Yeah, we've been obsessed with each other ever since. <laughs> yeah. One time we were at the local Sonic in town, and I was okay. hanging out with my friends at the table, and Kate showed up. Yeah, let me explain this part. So this is the part where like I had known I was gay, but it didn't come out yet when we ran into each other at this Sonic. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, I did see her there and we've never been friends or talked before, but I like saw her and I was like, she's cute, like I'm on the floor with her. <laughs> and I had like a bunch of uh, milkshakes and ice creams like I was picking up for my whole family. And I like vividly like looked her in the eyes <laughs> and I said, I was like, somebody help me open my door? Can somebody help me? I looking very at her and do the face. <laughs> That's what she didn't <laughs> say anything. She didn't say a word. I was like, okay. I was hoping that Kelsey would come and open the door because I was making direct eye contact with her, but she just was smiling. Like, oh, so cute, little smile, and didn't say anything. And somebody else got up and opened it. And I was like, dang, that didn't go how I wanted it to. And there were so many moments in life where I, like, I almost went to college, not in Nashville. So I almost went like hours away, so we, we wouldn't have even been able to be together. Kelsey could have went to college somewhere further away, but she stayed around close. Like it, it just worked out somehow yeah. when it easily couldn't have. It's so cool to think about like all the times that we like came in contact with each other, but the universe was like, it's not, Wait, it's not, it's not the time, time yet. <laughs> and it was perfect timing when it did happen. Yeah, it was. So we're so lucky. <laughs> I love you too. Eventually, you know, a year or two later, got our own apartment in Nashville because we were living, grew up in Tennessee at the time. Then later on decided, you know, we wanted to just see some more places. So we moved to Maine, um, loved it. So we bought a house. Also got engaged up here. <laughs> got engaged in 2021. At a lighthouse. It was yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it was the Port Head Lighthouse um, in Portland, Maine. It's a super pretty place. Yeah. I'll put like pictures. Put all the over cute there. pictures that I'm still obsessed with. And uh, I don't have a wedding plan yet, so maybe Not you guys really should much. subscribe and stick around if you want to be able to. Do you want to be a part of that? Kind of behind the scenes of doing all that. So <laughs> maybe that's coming soon. Maybe, yeah. We don't know. Who knows? We're just happy to be here. We're together. just vibing. Yeah. <laughs> We're vibing and making YouTube videos. Yeah. Anything else about our story? I don't think so. I think that's it. We just love being together, love having our animals around yeah. with us. Um, I'll put some pictures and videos of them in here too. We love doing outdoorsy things. We paddle board a lot. We love to go camping and hiking. We love to be outside. Yeah. Doing outdoor things. Yeah. Stick around for a good old time. Yeah. So yeah, that's our little love story. You guys stick around if you want to see more of the love story from here on out. <laughs> Watch out the latest video that we just posted. Yeah, we just posted a paddleboarding video. I'll put like the little thing here. That one was super here. fun. <laughs> it was. We had a good time. We yeah. love going on fun adventures together. Uh, so stick around. And we'll see you guys some point later. later. We'll make some more videos. Subscribe, please. Subscribe. subscribe. And like. And comment. Give us some comments if you comment um, and you have a channel, I'll subscribe back to you. We can become little like Buddies. subscriber friends. So yeah, please do all that. It would mean the whole world to us. We're please. in desperate need of a community. Yeah. Of a queer community. Yeah, for real. So whether you live in Maine or not, like reach out, let us know who you are, where you're from, what you do.
For real. And let's be online buddies, and then maybe one day we can, we can be, be real friend buddies. Real life buddies. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, I think that's all. Yep. See y'all later. See you. Peace. <laughs>